Hello my lovely Scorpios, I hope whenever you're watching this you are having a great day today. My name is Rachel and this is your Oracle card reading for the week of March 28th, 2022. However, it can be a timeless reading. If you've come across this at any other time than that week, then please continue to watch because you've been brought to this video for a reason and there will be something in here that could resonate with you. Um, this is for all Scorpios, Sun, Moon and Rising. Um, Please take whatever resonates and whatever doesn't resonate, then leave on the table for another Scorpio. This is a collective reading. Uh, there is no tarot in this uh, read. I'm still learning tarot. If you've watched my previous videos, I am getting more confident each time I do it. Um, but I, I, they definitely come in at some point. I just don't want to give you a bad read. I want to give you a genuine and a read that I feel confident with. Uh, whether it be good or bad, I'm telling the truth according to the cards. Um, so I've got six decks of oracle cards in front of me. Actually, I've got seven. I got a new deck, the Archangel Animal Oracle cards. I'm by that Diana Cooper. I'm still learning about these cards, so I'm just going to do a one card pull at the end of the read. Plus, read messages from Angel's book as well. Uh, what message they have for you after all the cards are on the table? I pull three cards from each deck. Uh, if more fall out, I will also read those two. Um, and I always read the bottom of the deck as well. Um, something was drawing me to do a Scorpio read today. I wasn't going to, I didn't plan on to, but for some reason it kept coming up. So I just gave in and just accepted what the angels wanted me to say. Um, so there we go. All the cards have fell out as I've been speaking. So let's get started. Scorpio, see what's going on for you. So uh, this it, this card is the Doreen Virtue Crystal Deck card. I apologise if I butcher the names of the crystals. I do try my best, um, but I do apologise if I offend anyone. So the first card that came out was Sapphire. Um, and it says, easy does it. Your health, happiness and abundance require a gentle approach to work and life. If you've been overdoing it a little bit here, Scorpios, if you've been going a bit like bit hard at it not taking any time for yourself not resting not giving yourself a little bit of a break here um maybe that's something that you you need to look at and and take a step back so that your health and happiness and abundance can thrive more in life and work not just one or the other maybe you need to find that balance uh, and then the next card that came out was diamond value your self worth you are God's precious gem. Maybe you've been overdoing it on something a little bit too much and they want you to pull back because you're trying to hide some kind of emotion here. We'll see as we get through the cards. Okay, let's see what else we've got here. The next one is Moonstone is your next card. Heightened intuition. Be extra aware of your inner knowingness as it's trustworthy. And then you've got Citrine was the last card that fell out. And that's unnecessary worries. Release the burden of worries by giving them to God for healing and solution. Ooh, okay. And what's on the bottom of the deck? Let's have a look. Chariot. I think that's how you pronounce that. Uh, spiritual protection. You are being watched over and protected physically, emotionally and energetically. Ooh, okay. Has something happened here? with you dear Scorpio and it's making you worry unnecessarily and you're feeling a little bit stressed out with it all and it's keep maybe it's keeping you up at nights um and it maybe it's questioned whether you're worthy enough but what the spirits are telling you to do is first of all trust your intuition Maybe something's happened, but you're unsure of the situation. Even though your gut feeling is telling you one thing, your head's trying to tell you something else. It's telling you that your intuition is trustworthy and to trust it. And you're not worthless. Your self-worth is, I feel at the moment, at a bit of a low, but it doesn't need to be. You are worthy of anything you want in this world. Otherwise, you wouldn't be here. Your job is not done. And then you've got easy desert. So I think that all of this, this situation, whatever this may be to you, um, you've been overstressing about it so much 
that it's took so much of your life up, it took so much of your time up, and they're telling you to just pull back a bit. Just pull back. Trust your intuition. You know what's going on. Deep inside, your gut feeling, you know what's going on. And you need to trust that because your intuition is usually, well, it pretty much is 100% right. Um, and they're saying just to, you know, you're protected spiritually. The angels and guys are all with you. But your health and abundance and everything else, you know, is going to be affected if you don't pull back the reins a little bit. So let's carry on with a few more um few more decks of cards and let's see what um what comes up and hopefully this will help give us a bit more clarification of what these cards mean wow did you see that one fly <laughs> i love it when they fly out okay right angel spirits guys thank you for the cards on the table so far can you let us know what our dear scorpios need to know a little bit more uh, about the cards on the table okay no, a little bit more of a shuffle so any more come out it doesn't feel like i want to stop just yet so let's see Maybe it's that the card on the bottom wasn't the right card that they want me to read. Mm, no, okay, want me to stop there. Right, okay. Okay, let's see what you've got. So, playfulness. I'm going to just turn this light out, Scorpius, because it feels like it's affecting the... Uh, uh, you might be able to see that better now. Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. This is maybe where they're saying easy does it. You've been so busy or so stressed out with a situation. It could be work, it could be relationship, it could be anything that you're not having no more fun. Um, maybe it could be a relationship that you feel is kind of a bit stale and you wish it wasn't. You can't understand it. You're trying to wrap your brain with it. Um, but maybe it's the fact that you're no longer having fun. Um, so, or maybe the, the breakups already happened and you've been so, it's involved you so much, it's overtook you so much that it's time to go out there and start playing now, start having some fun, um, with friends and just finding something that you enjoy doing, just get that little spark back. Okay, this card came out and it says, a financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Maybe this is what you're, you are stressed out about, is finances and career. Maybe you're not happy in your career right now. Maybe you've lost your job. Uh, maybe the financial situation of something else coming in that's just, just took a bit of a strain at an unexpected cost and it's just affecting the person you are, which is affecting your love life. And they're saying, if you go out and have a bit of fun and play, all the answers will come to you. And then this one came out, which is calling your soulmate. Uh, your prayers, affirmation and visualizations help bring you together. Are you ready for love? Are you ready for a soulmate? Um, are you ready for that now? But the way you can call that in is to go and have some fun. Because then you'll attract your soulmate to you by having fun. If you keep searching for it and searching for it, then you're not going to find it. Um, so you go out there, have fun, be you, find you, and then your soulmate will come. And then passion is allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So maybe this is the thing. Um, this is where the thing with playfulness comes in. Uh, you need to have some more fun and, and and call that soulmate in and it'll be very passionate when it does but maybe the playfulness you need is something that you feel passionate about because that will light you up and that will call your soulmate in i feel that you've been too wrapped up in a certain situation that you're not happy anymore you're you're just feeling a bit rubbish and a bit stalemate and a bit like is this all that life has to offer and you really want to fall in love again um but you feel so sad and so depressed and maybe there's an issue with the finances here, I don't know, that could be um, stopping you from calling them in. So it's saying easy does it. Go and have some fun. Go and play. You're protected. You're guided. You don't need to work all the hours God sends. You don't need to continue to be in this vicious cycle of trying to figure out what went wrong before. Let's get some more cards out and hopefully this will give us some more clarification. Again, this is for all Scorpio, so some of it might 
resonate with you, some of it might not, and that's fine. Just take what does and leave what doesn't. All these ones flew out today. Okay, so let's see what we've got here. Okay, whoa, 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 okay. Whoa. Okay, so the first one was time to go. Oh, sorry, not the table. Time to go. The sun sets and rises each day and it's the same with the avenues in your life. See the beauty within each sunset in your life and know that the sun will also rise again tomorrow. Endings are merely the start of a new beginning and we are with you through each phase and cycle. I feel, because right, I, I read intuitively, what my intu intuition is saying is something has happened that you have stayed stuck in. And it might have happened recently, or it might have happened a few months ago, or it might have happened even years ago, but you're continuing to stay in a cycle and keep repeating what happened over and over and over again. And that's not serving you anymore. That's not making, helping you or making you take the steps into your life. I feel that you've gone through quite a dark part of your life. And they're, they're now saying, it's time to go now. We're done now. We're finished. We're done. It's time to now start moving out of this darkness and start moving into the light um so that's where the playfulness is coming in a little bit here um is the playfulness so to start having fun to bring that light back into your life again and when you do that's when your soulmate's going to be coming into you and you're you're going to feel very much a lot of passion and that could be with your soulmate hopefully it will be um but it could also be with whatever the playfulness is. You could find something that you're truly passionate about that could be turned into a future career. Or it could just be something that you enjoy doing and it takes your mind off everything that's gone on, but it's also helping you heal and move forward of your life. Um, the next one here is the ocean. Um, the deep blue sea speaks to your soul, healing and soothing you. Even the act of imagining yourself dipping into its healing wound brings about desirable effects. Better yet, spend time physically near the ocean. Allow its power and beauty to wash away all cares and concerns. Yes. Maybe the water is something that you want to go back into. A water sport, swimming. Maybe you just need a break and go down by the by the ocean and get some good fresh sea air and the answers are going to come to you if the ocean's not something that you can possibly go down right now then just something to do with water go and swim in having a nice long hot soaking bubble bath with some sea salts in or something um epsom salts or whatever uh, whatever you know you feel like but maybe it's going near the ocean is where you might feel the most connected to mother mother nature and that's where the angels are going to be able to act, um, speak to you which is when the next card comes in and they're saying release and surrender uh, we shower you with blessings of our radiant love open your arms and release the challenges that you've had tightly gripped within your hands open your arm hands arms and heart to our love and assistant yeah it's time to leave this cycle this cycle that you've uh, you, that you've been in and uh, you, you, you've consumed yourself in it. You need to take a step back from it a little bit here. Um, and then try and take a break and go down to the ocean here. And if you can, get some sea air. And then you've got the release and surrender. So go down to the ocean if you can. Or go into some water and just release and surrender all the cares, all the worries, all the stress, everything else. Into the higher power that you believe in. And they will take charge of it. They will take it mix it up a little bit, do what they do with it, and then give it back to you um, with better answers, with uh, guidance, with knowledge, um, so that you can finally release it and start moving on with your life. And then the best thing on the bottom of the deck was the card, ask. Absolutely. Ask us to help you in this situation and we will immediately go to work on your behalf. We're governed by many universal laws and among them is the free will that allows you to make your own choices and decisions so we patiently await your request yes 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 it's time to leave the situation it's time to go out and have some fun and be a little bit easier on yourself try and take a break and go to the ocean if you can um or get into some kind of water sports and then release and surrender all these stresses and worries that you have release it into the higher power that you believe in and then ask what is it that you want most in the world what is it that your heart desires What's your gut feeling telling you that you need? 
what what is it because that is the, the question at the end of the day is what you want it's not what you feel that your head is telling you to want it's what your heart's desire is like if you're in a relationship and it ended do you really want them back or is it that you just want to get over the hurt and the pain and, and the forgive and be able to forgive what is it that you actually want and then ask the universe for it and they will they will guide you make sure it's a sincere ask and show gratitude when you ask they will deliver they always do the universe will always deliver to you but if you don't ask they don't know what to deliver well they do because you know they know everything but they can't deliver it until you ask for it and the only way you can ask for it is to know what you truly want. Okay, four cards fell out there because I thought there was a need for those to come out. And the, the first card here was, where do you need to establish better boundaries? I didn't mean to point at the words then. I just remembered, I felt like I was teaching my son how to read. Okay, so the boundaries. Um, where do you need to establish better boundaries? Exactly. I think something here has hurt you and you've consumed yourself in it and you need to put the boundaries in place. Maybe there is a relationship and they've got you on that hook and you need to take yourself off. Maybe people are taking too much advantage of you at work in your family life and you need to say no. And you've been so consumed in it and doing everything that you've forgotten who you were. And therefore, you need to now put the boundaries in place. And not just for other people, but for yourself. Like, do you know what? No, I'm not going to do this today. I'm going to put my own boundaries on me. I'm not doing that anymore because it's not serving me. You know, whatever it is that's happened, they've already took so much of your time. Don't let them take no more. It's your life. You take control of it. Boom. Look, play. Yes, play. Playfulness. Take it easy on yourself. Passion. Play, play, play. You've got nothing fun. Have fun. Celebrate. Don't be so serious. Yes, you're so consumed with what's going on. Oh, I'm getting passionate myself. Oh, calm down, Rach. Okay, that you you don't know what you're doing anymore. It's just constantly the same thing over and over again. You're not having no more fun. The thing is, the answers will come to you when you're having fun. You know, look at this. She's in a massive glass having a drink. And the sun is shining down on her now that she's playing, now that she's having fun. You need to go out and have some fun. And then you got this one here, which just says, take a break. Yes. A life's work, not a season. Get off the treadmill. Yes, stop going round and round and round. It's not serving you no more. That's why they're saying, like, go to the ocean, take a break, take a, get a, get a holiday, vacation, whatever it is, just take a break, dude. Okay. And then the next one is Min Taken, Min Takan. I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Longing for home, belonging, the original light workers. I feel that whatever's happened here has completely isolated you and completely you've lost who you are and you don't know who you are no more. And all you want to do is go home. But you don't you don't know where home is no more. Do you? You don't you don't know where it is. And that's what they're saying. And that's what you're consumed in, trying to figure out who you are. And then the last one on the bottom of the deck was Starseed, what lights you up? Yes, exactly what I just said. You don't know who you are anymore. That's why they're telling you to go out and play and find something that you're passionate about. The thing is, your soulmate here could not necessarily be a soulmate in a romantic sense. Soulmates can come in many shapes and forms as a soulmate. And, you know, maybe going out and, and having fun and finding something that you're passionate about. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I hear you. I feel that whatever happened here, you have lost who you are. You don't know who you are anymore. You've lost your complete identity. And you don't know where to start. And they're telling you to go out and have some fun and go out and play and go out and and find something that you are passionate about now, something that really lights you up. And stop being on this treadmill and being consumed with everything that has not worked out the way you wanted it to work out. 
they're saying when you do that you'll find your soulmate in some shape or form it could be a friendship it could be a relationship it could even be a pet you know soulmates do come in all shapes and forms but when you find what you're passionate about that's actually going to help with your finances and career because this is something that could turn into something that could make you money but you don't know what that is because all you're doing is getting up and playing groundhog day each day over something that happened that you probably got no control over because if you had the control over it wouldn't you have fixed it by now hmm so i feel that you really do i need to take those you really do need to go and take that one. Oh wow oh my god these cards are amazing okay so you do need this is oh this is something's happened that has got you stuck on a bloody hamster wheel and it's time to get off the wheel get off the wheel my love get off okay that was insane okay so what have we got here oh my god these cards are amazing well i'm going to start with this one because i feel like this is what you are impatient i feel that you are being impatient right now and as you can see, look, he's reaching up to touch this here. But you can see, if you look closely enough, I'll put it up closer. You can see his eyes, and that's like a mother's stare, isn't it? Like, don't touch it. Don't you touch it. And I do that to my son. He, he's got my, he's got, he knows my look now. I've, I've got the mother's look down to a T. But you're being impatient. You're, um, whether that's something to do with, like, I want to find true love again and I can't find true love and I'm being impatient of it or whether it's a work thing and you're just getting stressed out and that's where the hamster wheel is coming in. You're just constantly going over it. You're being too impatient. And what you need to do is find some joy and go and play and go and have fun because then all the answers that you need are going to come to you. And just notice that I said, sorry, I'm not the table, the answers that you need, not necessarily the answers that you want or you're expecting to, to hear. It's the answers that you need to be able to fulfill the destiny in your life that you bring you home, that lights you up, that fills you a passion, that you can go out and play and have fun with, that will help with your finances and career and call your soulmate in. You need to go and have some joy, which will then give you the enlightenment that you need. And look, the sun is shining down here. And what? look, what? look, look, release and surrender. He's opening his arms and heart and his hands and saying, okay, I'm ready to receive. Give me what I'm ready for. Give me what my destiny is. He's going to be enlightened by going out and having some fun. Because the wisdom and all the answers you need, you already have. But you're so stuck on this stupid hamster wheel that you're not seeing them. And that's why they're saying to go out and have some fun. Because then the answers will go from way back there into the forefront of your mind. So you can actually know what you've got to do. <sighs> Which will send you on a quest. And the quest that's going to help your finances and your career and give you the life that you seek. We don't always get what we want, but we do get what we need. But we're so focused on the wants that when we're given the, the answers that we need, we don't follow them. Oh. Feel a little bit passionate about this one. Okay, so this, oh, I don't like it when too many come out. So can I'm gonna put them back. Can you just please give me one or two cards that I can read to the lovely Scorpios here? Woo! I'm sorry, my lovely Scorpios. I do get a little bit passionate about this because I've gone through many challenges myself and when I can help someone, I'm just like, I'm so passionate to help them. Right, there's three there so let's see if there's a there any more angel spirits guys thank you for all the cards on the table thank you for trusting me to relay the message the way you intend it to be read is there anything else that our dear scorpios need to know with this last deck of cards please oh ah there it is oh no i feel there's one more or oh, this one in the bottom of the pile isn't right okay 
Let's see what these ones have to say. I'll do one more. They, no. Okay. All right. Oh, now I'm told to stop. Okay. So let's see what we have here. And then I can relay them to you. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay, what card do you want me to read first, please? Wait. It's not yet time things are being woven. My intuition is telling me that's to do with your relationships. That you may feel that you're ready for a relationship now. That you want that relationship. You want that soulmate and you want it now. And that's why you're being so impatient. But I feel they're saying, wait. Wait. If you had that relationship now, if we brought that into you now, it won't work. Because either of you are not ready for it yet. There's things that need to be woven first. There's things that need to be done first for you two to, to come together and for it to stick. So this is the question you've got to ask yourself. Do you want that soulmate to come in right at this instant where you know it won't work? Where there's a possibility it won't work and nine times out of 10 it won't because you both aren't ready. You both aren't at that place where you need to be to be able to make it work. Or do you want to wait, go and find you, let them find them and then when you come together, you're there for life. I know that can be quite hard. You, know, you automatically think, I want it for life, I want it for life, but I want it now. And it's like, but you're not, your time's not right now to have that soulmate come in yeah there's things that need to be done first those things could take a day those things could take a week those things could take another year but the fact is that when you two come together you come together for life i'd rather wait another year another month another week another day i'd rather wait that amount of time so that when i when he or she comes into my life then it's for life one year of sacrifice for a lifetime of happiness. Not saying it's a year. I'm saying that that's what it is. It's time. Yeah, here. The, the seven star sisters is birthing creations. The tapestry of life and your expression. There's something you need to do. You need to birth something into this world. And I think you're going to find it when you start having fun and start bringing joy into the world. Um, into your world, into your life. It's getting off this hamster wheel and starting to go and explore what you, what lights you up, what, what brings you joy. And then you've got to birth something into the world. And when you've birthed it into the world and it's become successful to help your finances and career and you'll be able to use your expression that lights you up, then that's when your soulmate will come in. And here, devotion, potency, make your life a moving prayer. Yes, you've got to work on your life. You've got to work at a point in your life where you're happy. You've got to be at a point in your life where you feel confident, where you feel comfortable, where you feel like I'm secure in me, I'm secure and I'm stable in every aspect of my life. I'm ready for you now. But you need to devote yourself to you. I don't think you've ever done that. I don't think you've done that. And then here you've got star ancestors. There are hidden secrets, lost wisdom. Look a little deeper. I think there's something in you that you don't know that's there. I think that you probably have come across it a little bit, but something happened and it just got pushed down and down and down. And it's telling you now to go and play, to bring that back up so that you've got to look a little bit deeper within you to be able to devote and make your life a moving prayer and to birth the creation that you need to birth into the world. And then fall into my arms, surrender, hold in the opposite extremes of life, surrender to it, don't fight it. Don't fight staying on that hamster wheel. Don't fight whatever's coming into your life. Don't fight it. Just let it happen. And by letting it happen, just go out and have fun and just let it all happen. Because it will give you the best life if you just let it happen. And on the bottom of the deck for the last card is the Karenus Peony. I don't know how to say that. I'm sorry. Multifaceted? Unique nature, let yourself be seen. Yes, 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 let yourself be seen. Let yourself be seen. 
you've been on this hamster wheel for such a long time that you're just not allowing yourself to be seen anymore. No one knows what your talents are. You don't even know what your talents are. And they're telling you to go and find them and then share them with the world because there's someone out in that world that needs to see them. And only you can tell them. Whew, okay. So I'm taking a breath there. I feel like I was really passionate. Okay, so this is my um, new deck, the Archangel Animal Oracle card book. Uh, they're beautiful. I love animals anyway. So I'm just going to pour one card out or we'll see if one flies out and then that's the card that will be for you today. So Angel Spirits Guide, what animal, Archangel Animal card do our lovely Scorpios need to know to round up this wonderful uh, read on the table for our dear Scorpios? There we go. Okay, <laughs> please don't laugh. Please don't laugh. But it is the pig. The pig. <laughs> maintain self-worth and self-esteem yes it is i'm just going to get the book because i am learning all these animals um, i just want to give you the guidance uh tells you it's time to remember how special you are yes your soul had to be at least seventh dimensional to be allowed to incarnate on earth and like most beings when you step down into a body much of your knowledge and wisdom was lost to you oh my god that's this one Star ancestors, hidden secrets, lost wisdom, look a little deeper. Your soul had to be at least seven dimensional to be allowed to incarnate on earth. And, and like most beings, when you stepped down into a body, most of your knowledge and wisdom was lost. The time to look deeper. Your guidance is to meditate for a few minutes each day on the gifts, talents and wisdom that are held in your soul. Then ask for them to be made available.